Potassium HP is a powdered potassium. And the reason why we carry it is because all capsules of potassium are 99 milligrams maximum according to law. So if you want to have a dosage higher than 99 milligrams, you have to buy it in powder form. One scoop of potassium HP is 1200 milligrams. And it's not even a very large scoop. Now, potassium is mostly needed when you go on a low carb diet. So you've been eating a high carb diet for a long time, and then you decide to go keto, you're going to lose weight, you're going to fix up a lot of things with your health. And sometimes, not 50% of the time, it's going to be maybe 20, 30% of the time, people will lose potassium through their urine. Now, when you go on a low carb diet, your insulin drops down and in your, in your body, the quantity in your blood, it goes down and that releases your body's need for holding onto water. So people who are really bloated, water retention, maybe their insulin is too high. So you go on a low carb diet, low insulin diet, and you start dumping water through the urine. I've had people urinate excessively for, you know, five days or maybe even more. And they, the first bit of weight loss, like let's say eight pounds, for example, that's water weight. And that's perfectly normal and a very good sign that it's working for you. Now, a lot of people, they get more energy when they go on this initial few days of the keto diet. And uh, they can feel that they feel lighter. They feel lighter right in here because they're losing water and they're actually starting to burn fat out of the abdomen. And they're all happy. Their muscles are strong. Their brain's good. But then that other 20%, for example, they're not feeling so good. They feel tired. Their muscles are weak. They feel like they're dragging their body around. Their brain is a little bit cloudy. They can think well, but it's just not 100%. And what's the cause of that? They urinated so much that a lot of minerals left with the urination, and especially potassium. So that's where the potassium HP comes in. And typically, you just go through a bottle of it. You finish a bottle, then you're done. Now, I've been through this myself. When I went low carb, we're talking 1999. Um... I learned about the uh, deficiency of potassium in 2004. So I went five years low in potassium. And when I started taking it, I felt stronger. My muscles were stronger. I, you know, and I needed five capsules. So that's 500 milligrams per day. I did it for like two months or more. And if I had the potassium HP, I would just do one scoop. I, but I didn't have it. I didn't know about it at the time. And, but it would have been one scoop a day, just finish the bottle, then I'd be done. So I went five years with this like lowered um, energy reserve, lower muscle function, although I still worked out. I still, you know, was building my practice and things were going well. It's just that there was this fatigue. Also, you know, I had some pit parasites and there's other factors. I had chemical toxicity from working on the farm and, uh, you know, fertilizer and parathion, uh, stuff like that. So I had other factors. But adding in the potassium in 2004, I had a market improvement that I could tell right away. So enjoy your potassium uh, when you're deficient in it and you start taking it. It's really good. I give it a 10 out of 10.